So a bit of excitement today. We are going to be putting the dinghy on the davits for the first time. We've just changed out the davit lines here uh, with new hooks because it had to have a double for both sides for our new dinghy. So we've, as you can see, we pulled the boat away from the dock. We're gonna bring the dinghy around, hoist it up on the davits, pull it back again, and then we gotta wash the bottom because it is so dirty. So we're gonna wash the bottom and then uh, put it back in the water and go about our business. But we're kind of excited. We haven't used the davits before, so it's gonna be interesting to see how it works. Been in the week or the water for just over a week. Yeah. And it needs some love already. Oh, I'm not yeah, impressed with it, this. Put it back up over the dock and I'll start scrubbing. Yeah, pulling it back in. Stinks. Yeah, it does. All right. We got some work to do. Time for uh, sparkle and shine. Mm -hmm. Super exciting day. <laughs> Check out my new fun polishing toy. So we just got this battery operated. This is our buffer after we do the cut polish. Hi, we're Josh and Tamara, and this is our 46-foot hunter sailboat, Honey Time. Join us every Friday as we learn to navigate these new waters and refit, renovate, and restore our new home. Thanks for all your support along the way. Well, this worked out really good. We got all the lines run. Tamara whipped all these up. She did all of the splicing and stuff. And we have these great, the davits are holding the boat perfectly. And it's nice, we got it wedged in here. So now we got it clean. We're gonna keep it hanging when we're not using it. Cause that was a lot of work to clean that sucker. Man, stuff grows on it fast. I was in here a week and it was, took me about an hour and a half to clean it off. So. Rather than doing that again, we're just gonna keep it hanging off the back here. And then uh, we can still go for adventure dinghy rides. We'll just drop it in and head out. And uh, the whole system works great. We're really pumped about it. We're hoping to actually get this wrapped up today. She's working on some more lines up here. And then uh, one for our radar reflector, one for our flags, they're all rotted out. She's replacing those and then hopefully we'll go spend some time out in the dinghy. Adventure dinghy time. Adventure dinghy. Let's go adventure. That's it's hot. There's kids playing in the water. It's such a good, good Saturday. Okay, so here's the deal. I started working in the aft head just to get it cleaned up a little bit. The shelves were gunky from old drips that were happening and I wanted to put down some of that matting so it would be non-slip. Uh, as well, just a little bit of odds and ends, moving the toilet paper roll, that sort of thing. This was gonna be an easy job today. An hour tops, completely done, bathroom washed out, ready to go, and that was it. So when I was down doing the uh, matting under the shelves, I noticed that there was a, um, a rusty clamp. So I went to change the rusty clamp, no big deal, everything's fine. Turn on the water to check to make sure there's no drips, we have a leak. It turns out that the elbow is quite cracked and it's been slowly dripping every time the drain goes down. We couldn't figure out why there was some water still on the shelves. So that's where this whole new project has started. Originally, we were just going to change the elbow and put in a new drain. 
And now it's turned into a paint booth. Pathmaster's refinishing. <laughs> so a long time ago, when uh, somebody dumped some adhesives or something down in here and it's it's stained the sink. And I've tried to scrub it out, tried to polish it out, tried to sand it out, it's not happening. So I said, well, if we're putting a new drain in, why don't we do the Bathmaster's refinish? And I, I roughed up the whole surface, cleaned it with acetone, and now I am going to paint the sink. <laughs> because finding an oval sink like this, the undermount that will fit this is going to be impossible without ordering one right from Hunter, which we may down, down the road do. But for now, I'm just going to hit it with some plastic coat, see if it lasts for a while, <laughs> and it'll look better. And it'll look better. Yes. <laughs> this was not on the list of jobs today by any stretch of the imagination. No, nope, never is. But, you know, one little crack turns everything on its side, so. Yep. And check this out. This is something that <laughs> Josh showed me. I love it. So to cover over the faucet, you wrap it in tin foil and it gets all the little nooks and crannies. It's an old painter's trick. Works good. You just stick it on stuff and go. <laughs> I love and it. And I made a little paint booth, so I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get you some more plastic. Okay. Thank you. Lots of wind drift. Let me turn the fans off. I just want to. Oh, we got a lot of wind. Mm-hmm. Lots of paint in the air. I should just set that fan up right here and suck it out. Okay, hold on. Just thought of this. Now we got a full-on paint booth. So we set this up. We got airflow coming in, airflow going out. So no more speckles in here. There shouldn't be any. No. And anything that's in the air, by the time it gets out here, will be in eight. It'll just be dust. Not, I don't know if it great. It'll be dust. Dad. just like that it's clean and perfect we got the under cabinet all cleaned up with the new shelving in here and our bathroom is set and ready to go super exciting day <laughs> we finally got our new folding wheel or a big bow tie whatever you choose <laughs> yeah I'm gonna bring it in and unwrap it and then we have to change the hub to the style of shaft that we have. Okay. And did you say shaft is a bad mother? <laughs> he shut your mouth. He shut your mouth. <laughs> so we've been waiting for this wheel for almost a month now. It's mm -hmm. been a tireless process of calling um, customer service, finding out where it is. It's been on trucks, off trucks. The box that it came in looked like it went through hell and back, but the wheel looks beautiful. We are so super excited to finally get it on. It's funny though, because we've now put the dinghy on the back of the boat and we don't have to walk or we can't walk off the transom anymore to get onto the dock. So it's not going to be as helpful as it was maybe three weeks ago. When we were doing all, ago. yeah. Uh, well, last, I mean, we yeah. just had to remove the wheel, but yeah. Um, it's, Doesn't it's matter. still going to be helpful because it when is. it's folded up, when we go to just get on the dinghy, all that, it's still helpful. It is so. helpful and it's going to be awesome in the future. This is Completely. a purchase for future enjoyment yeah. is what it is. So. This was a this was a treat for us. This, this wasn't was our even splurge. our budget. <laughs> no. This was our splurge. This was our, our big upgrade. We the rest are of the stuff has been maintenance stuff. This yeah. was an upgrade. Oh, I like it like this. You think it'll drive that way? Oh. <laughs> sure. I don't think so. <laughs> So we have a parallel hub, not a tape. Is it called a tapering hub? It's tapered. Yeah, ours is or, tapered? Or no, sorry, it's parallel. Yes, yeah, so we have a parallel. So we had to change out the hub from the one that it originally came with to the parallel one. 
So we're just working on that right now and you have to set it in there so that your gap is the same all the way around. And I think we got her licked now. Looks better. Yeah, we had a really big space when we did it the first time. So it's kind of twisting it and turning it to find exactly the right spot that it's gonna give you an even gap all the way around on the hub. Right there, that's the spot. All right, time to put this baby on. My precious. It's so shiny. <laughs> kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> Our helm is getting so fancy right now. Mm -hmm. We got the new VHF. We got our brand new folding funky wheel. Oh, that's so much tighter than the last one. Yeah. That one was had quite a bit of play in it. Yeah. Still gotta build a bushing for it though, because it's got some back and forth play. Still? Yeah, so I'm gonna put a bushing in behind See? here on the yeah. shaft. See that? Oh yeah. So that it stays forward like this. Right. Yeah. But that's it. So would that be like washers or something? Or yeah. how do you yeah. fix that? Yeah, like we'll use um uh like a piece of like PVC board or um starboard oh, okay and just plastic board and i could cut a ring slip a ring on there oh and it'll be like ideally you'd use like teflon or something like that right but um it does it's not like this has high friction or anything you're just yes you're steering right so yes. we'll do something like that and then that'll take that little bit of play out of it but it's a whole lot do you want to give me an before. awesome demonstration about walking from the transom yeah into the cock into the look at all the space yeah. look at this I'm just going to walk right through here. <laughs> so amazing. Oh, that would have been so nice uh, when we first got here when and we started this. <laughs> oh, well. Go time. Boom, these come out. You center them pins on like that. This slides down. Crank the wheel. Do this. Look at that beautiful new wheel. I was hoping that it would be all stainless on the outside, but I think it's better that it's got the suede. Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. It'll be nicer when it's cold as it can be out. Yeah, awesome. All right, so we have a fancy new wheel. Now all we have to do is get off this dock. Yeah. That's the plan. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Well worth the wait. Yes, it was. Yes. Uh, getting all set up here we're uh, polishing the sides of the boat today cleaning and polishing hasn't been done in a long time super oxidized as you can see uh, but our decals are coming for our boat and before we put those on we want to get all this done so doing a quick blitz on it got the system down it's gonna be fun it's gonna be hot we just got the whole boat washed down and ready to go and now it's time to start the fun-filled job of polishing. So and it's cut polish and wax. This is a big job. Huge. But it's kind of nice and easy to do it from the dinghy. We were quite surprised when it came to um, actually doing the washing. It was much easier than we thought it was going to be. So right now we've got a couple extra rust spots that we're just going to take Treat care of with this iron out. This stuff works so good. It's amazing. You just spray it on and leave it, and then you come back, I don't know, maybe like 15, 20 minutes later, wipe it off, and it's gone. That's disappearing. So nice. These guys had so much rust on them before we got started, and clean, clean, clean. So awesome. Yeah, this stuff's amazing. It is. It's pretty cool. It's just an acid that eats rust yeah like it just eats it it's gone yeah you don't even have to clean it after it just it doesn't hurt anything else no it's so cool look at this you can see the perfect... can you see the line oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's like from mirrored finish to flat check out my new fun polishing toy so we just got this battery operated this is our buffer after we do the cut polish and it, it says amazing mirror finish oh, job that's on gorgeous. this wow. without the uh, 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 scrubbing yeah scrub a buff that's so, nice. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Oh, nice. Okay. 50 feet to go.
<laughs> hundred feet, actually. Hundred feet. Sides. There's two sides. Thank God we didn't get okay. a catamaran. Oh shit. You can have my new spot sometimes. Awesome. Hmm? So we got the entire port side finished and we're just starting on the starboard side. Uh, which is against the dock. So we've tied it off to the other side because we don't have uh, a buddy boat on the other side there, which is really nice right now. Um, so we've got the whole front area done. I don't know if you can see the difference of how amazing Blast. that is. But uh, the other side, the water sparkles off it. It's gorgeous. We'll show it to you later. We're exhausted. This is a lot of work. Our shoulders are killing us. But you know oh, what? It, the exhausting. reward is amazing. It looks so good. Well, and you don't so have to good. do it again for a long time. Now yeah. you can just maintain it. I don't know if it's showing up or not. How absolutely mirror-like finish is on the polished part. You can see all the water uh, just kind of reflecting off of the boat. And the rest of it is all just white and yucky. And <laughs> totally oxidized. I just can't get over how gorgeous it is. The sun isn't even out and shining on it, and it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's just a full mirror now. Yeah, so pretty. And it's such easy work. <laughs> it's such easy work. <laughs> I don't know why we don't do this every day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do it every morning. <laughs> Perfect. Before we head out. Awesome. All right. Let's go again. Let's see your big dog. Oh yeah, the big dog. <laughs> That's your shoulders, baby. Oh. <laughs> Feel jacked. Yeah, you are. We're just cleaning up and getting everything cleaned up and all that stuff and off the dock, but check this out. Oh, that's a mere finish right there. It turned out so good. We are so happy and so excited. So we still have to do below the bootstrap once we get her out of the water and onto the hard, but we didn't want to get too close to the epaulet of paint. But other than that, we're good to go. We're golden. We'll probably do another wax at that point in time, but no more cut polish. We're done. Whew. She's a beauty. It's time to enjoy a sundowner and relax. <laughs> 